So in the last video I put my roof bars back on my car and uh, if you haven't seen that video yet where I lifted the Forester and everything you should go check it out up there in the top right but I didn't just put these roof bars back on for looks I put them back on for a purpose. And that purpose is right here in this box. Why don't we take a look? This is the Arxen roof, roof, what is it called? This is called, oh God. This is called the Arxen roof rack cargo carrier. It, it's a roof basket. You, you put stuff in it, you put it on your roof and you put stuff in it. I don't really need to describe what, what it, what it does. I forgot to mention why I bought this basket, this specific basket, uh, it was because it came with the extension for a hundred dollars. So it's probably the best, cheapest option you can go with. Uh, it was recommended to me by Matt, so thank you, Matt, for recommending this basket. Uh, being a hundred dollars, though, it does have its drawbacks. So, for example, it does scratch really easily. Why the extension? Well, because I find uh, roof baskets without their extensions look kind of silly. You need to put the extension on. This roof basket should cover my whole roof. That's the hope. Uh, most, if not all, of my roof. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Two years ago now, I put out a video uh, where I was addressing this problem. Apparently what happened is, for those of you who don't know, I accidentally cross-threaded the bolt into this plate on my roof rack. So, um, I was unable to tighten it more or take it off. Thankfully, it was only in far enough where I could still get the roof bar on and off the car, which is great. But I went on to eBay and got two 
two new ones. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we won't have any cross-learning issues. I think I want to probably clean the rust off of the tip of this, but now I got these brackets off eBay for like $30, which was fantastic. It was I allowed to buy a whole new set of roof bars, but I don't need a whole new set of roof bars. So uh, now that the head is drilled off of this, which I've spent two years doing, we can now slide it right out the back. Just look at it. I guess I don't have the rubber piece for this, but that's okay. That is it for this week's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, the basket looks amazing for $100. You know, it's pretty fantastic. It's still smaller than I thought it was going to be, but with the extension, though, it's still better than if I just use the front and the back piece. I'll leave a link in the description down below to this basket uh, in case you want it. It's a universal basket, so it'll work on basically any car. So if you want it for a Subaru or a Jeep or a Toyota, a Ford, Whatever tickles your fancy in the off-road world, you can buy this basket. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Also, comment down below what you thought of this mod and any other mods that I should do to make this car off-road ready. My goal is to get this done, hopefully, by the end of June. If you want your friends to see this video, because maybe they're looking for a roof basket, go ahead and share this video. And if you want to see more of my videos, because there are more to come, go ahead and subscribe. This has been Kyle, and I will see all of you in the next video, which is going to be next week. So stay tuned for that one.